I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. On to the red wines in this session. So um, I've been excited to try this one for a long time. And uh, I actually had a wine recently from Italy called, and the grape's called Franconia. And it's the same grape as this, which is the same grape as Blaufrankisch. I love that grape. I already knew this grape was the same grape as Blaufrankisch. So I'm really excited to try this. So this is a Slovakian wine. So it's the 2000, uh, well, we'll, go, we'll tell you what the wine is and then we'll talk about the area. 2017 Botfrig uh, Kikfrankos, Kikfrankos uh, from Slovakia. I uh, bought it on Sam Select back in January, January 2019. And uh, total price was $31.10, including the shipping and the tax. and the. I mean, it's not a lot of shipping. It's like a dollar. And then like, shipping insurance, really. And so Slovakia, so let's talk about that. Slovakia was part of the Hungarian Empire, so they kind of sh they share wine traditions. So a lot of these terms and words are Hungarian, though I used Google Translate to translate from Slovak. So, but they're probably about the same pronunciations, though they may, people from both countries may beg to differ. Uh, the family who does uh, own the winery is of Hungarian descent, uh, who lives in Slovakia. Anyway, so the region is, so the region is Yuzno Sloveska. I sound native, don't I? Um, in Slovakia, it's running up the southern border of Slovakia, following a stretch of the Danube River, uh, just before it turns south towards Budapest. Budapest, um, and that is the southern Slovak. So the Yuzno Sloveska is the southern Slovak region. So uh, these guys, so bot, B O T T, but it sounds like, I mean, I'm using Google Translate to pronounce his name. It sounds like bot, like you bought something, but it looks like bot. Um, and his friend, uh, his son, uh, Frici, I'm assuming that's correct, uh, they farm about 10 hectares of vineyards on the southern slopes of. Uh, Musla, the Musla Hills, where the Danube and the uh, Gadam and Ipoli rivers converge. Uh, the soils are a mixture of clay and limestone over volcanic basalt. And then they're about 250 meters high, so that's about 750, more than 800 feet up. And let's see, from his home base in the Dan Danube adjacent village of Nova Strags. Straj, Nova Straj. Um, anyway, um, Frig has been active in promoting the surrounding wine country known as Garamente as an international destination for gastrotourism. Um, there's a trademark that's a, that's which is attached. It's kind of like a DOP designation elsewhere. Not to not just the wines, but other local food products, and they say such as pumpkin seed oil. Who knew? Uh, the historic wine region is enclosed in the geographical center of a of the triangle formed by the Gadam River, the Danube River, and the southern side of the hills of Musla. In what is in what used to be the vineyard of the Cathedral of Estergom. Uh, the soil is made of okay, I already talked about that. Uh, the vineyards are populated with the traditional varieties of the region, most of which are most readily associated with, guess what, Hungary. So you have Formint, uh, Harshlevelu, uh, Ufark, I know, I know, uh, Kikfrankos, and Kadarka. Uh, this is not surprising given how much of Slovakia was part of Hungary. And let's see, they also have a Rhine Riesling, which I'm assuming is just like a German Riesling. 
uh, or might have been like what used to be called Johannesburg Riesling and Pinot Noir. They are sustainably farmed uh, and use oak. Uh, and they use used oak casks for aging. The most of the wines are unfiltered and have a minimum addition of sulfur. They also have a guest house you can rent if you go visit them. So uh, it's on the list of places to go with like a thousand other places that I want to go to in no particular order or ranking. Uh, the closest major town is Komarno and is halfway between Bratislava. Right? Did I say I think I said that right. Uh, and Budapest. Matter of fact, we're gonna we're gonna have Google tell me how to say that. That other one, real quick, it was like really like forceful when when the the voice said it. Bratislava. Bratislava, right? Anyway, I think it was more of a shot in there. Anyway, um, so let's get into the wine. I'm excited about having this. Just uh, what you want to call it, Kik Francos. Um, I can't remember the other name of it. Blau Frankish. Blau Frankish. Uh, it's just oh, always such a cool wine. So, yeah, like there's always this like prickly, blue fruited uh, going on here. It's like a blueberry, raspberry um, compote with like a prickliness. I know it's hard to smell prickly, but like this. Carb, almost like a carbonation thing going on. When's this from? 17, so not a lot of age at all, really. Like sour cherry. Really like a dark cherry. Like really like, like almost like really like the, um, the real maraschino cherry. Like the really dark ones that you're supposed to put in your Manhattans rather than the bright red ones that are like the quote fake ones. Potpourri, a little cocoa in there. Yeah, I mean, really cool stuff. This is why I like this grape. This grape reminds me of Beaujolais so much with the spice driven but it's also got a lot of fruit to it. And it's instead of a, it's more of a juicier fruit rather than a dried out fruit. Hey, I love, I love me some Beaujolais. I drank some the other day. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Um, but this is like, like this and Menthea uh, and even um, uh, Nerodavla sometimes, but not really Nerodavla. Um, what should I call it? I can't remember. It's Italian, Sardinia, Cannonau. Um Can all have that kind of spice-driven component. It's from the grape, not really from the aging. Cool stuff here. So in this case, there's a balance of that fruit, and it's it starts off like the, the fruit quality, quote sweet. It does finish dry, but the dryness is finishing off is really from the from the spice driven stuff. But you're getting kind of a fruit cake thing going on, more blue fruit driven than anything else. But you get like a like a mishmash of fruit, like a compote, like a jam and jelly, not sweet, just flavorful and spicy. You know that. That clove, that cardamom, that cinnamon, that um, uh, allspice, that kind of stuff, the Christmas spices. I mean, I, I like to call mostly Christmas in a glass. Well, so is Blafrancos, Kifrancos. I mean, it's the, these, especially in Menthea, those especially have that kind of Christmassy, spicy, earthy component to it. This wine's, you know what I want to say, delicious. It's Fusco delicious. Anyway, it's Fusco delicious. Ah, mm. This is why I cannot wait to like just crack open and crush the entire bottle in one sitting. 
It's good stuff. All right, so if you can find this guy, hopefully you can. I know, you know some select may not be the easiest stuff to find out in the regular market, but if you can find it, absolutely get you some. I mean, just like I was just got some Kik Francos. If you can get some from Slovakia, support them. Um, delicious stuff. Or Franconia from Italy, which actually the Franconia I got from Italy is really like on the border of Slovakia. Okay, actually, no, Slovenia, not Slovakia. Um, different countries completely. Though I think there's like, you know, ethnicity that's a similarity and blah, blah, blah. But don't kill me if I, miss, if I misspoke on that one. But, uh, but Slovakian and Slovenian are definitely different. Um, let's see, what else? And, you know, blah, Frankish. Which you'll find like in that general centralish European uh, area. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, you can click the links above. You can friend me up. I'll have links below to the winery and to the Psalm Select page, or just Psalm Select itself. Um, of course, PayPal. I'll have that link down there if you want to throw some ducats my way. And we'll see everyone again next time.